Today we are going to learn about HTTP request logging. For that we are going to create a Spring Boot web project. For that we are going to uh, create a controller so that we can test our web request. And then we are going to learn about uh, abstract request logging filter and HTTP servlet request uh, and its relation. Now uh, then we are going to configure our filter and the request properties of the servlet request right so let's get started with it i have spring initializer page open you can create your uh, project with any group name My, i'm taking com.namrita and uh, the project name you can put it as anything i'm putting it as uh, http login I am as I am making a Spring Boot web project. I am taking it as uh, the dependency. You can download it uh, in. You can download the package and import it into your into your workspace. I have already downloaded and imported in my workspace, as you can see. And uh, now we can get started with books controller. All right. So my books controller serves one web request which has books as a uri and get as a request method it uh, it has a response of a string and serves a http status okay okay now uh, let's see how our filters look like looks like now uh, you can see my filter's name is HTTP request logging filter and it extends abstract request logging filter. Before going ahead with our filter, let's see what does the abstract request logging filter does. So let's see uh, what the filter which we are expecting means. Now, uh, the filter which we are expecting that is abstract request logging filter. So, it has two methods that is before request and after request. Okay. So, both of the methods have HTTP servlet request and a string parameter. So, let's see what they are. So, here you can see they are abstract methods and uh, have a http servlet request and string as a parameter now uh, let's go to http servlet request all the all the parameters of request can be get from this um, class and uh, as you can see uh, it has uh, all the basic parameters let uh, these are uh, the request URL, uh, then request URI, then uh, servlet path, then everything that you will require. So let's see what we are using it over here. So here you can see uh, I have my before request and after request as a part of abstract request logging filter now here uh, we have request as a parameter and message as a string and uh, for the request i have request url and a remote host i have remote address over here then the uh, query uh, string parameters i have and I have logged the request URI and I have also put the headers uh, if the if we want any headers let's say at the time of registration you will require device ID and device type right so here I have it let's check while uh, starting our project So my server is getting started.
here you can see our blocks right let's get started with the testing part I have few requests already prepared over here so I'm going to do a HTTP request to our uh, box controller I'm doing uh, the request uh, with the local host okay let's uh, do it uh, yeah so here you can see the request has come the URL is the complete URL uh, with which I have done the request the host name is here remote address is here then the uh, I haven't passed any query string so it is null and URI is here so in this way uh, whichever uh, methods you want to put uh, you want to log you can have it uh, with the request uh, uh, request variable in the after and before request method now let's uh, let's do the same request with the IP and see if the IP gets changed so I'm doing a send and as we hoped uh, that the, uh, the URL gets changed now earlier it was the local host now I, we can see the IP over here the remote host is also the IP remote address is also the IP okay now uh, let's put some query string over here so I have put ID equals to 13 as my query string parameters so here I have yeah wait let me clear the logs here uh, yes as you can see the query string are also getting over here now let us put some headers so in my next request I have uh, yeah I have headers as device ID and device type I'm doing a request Oh yes, I uh, let me clear it. I'm doing a request. Uh, you can see the device ID and device type which we have passed in the headers come into the request uh, header logs. Okay, so in this way you can do the request logging. Uh, here I have only done the sysouts for them. You can also uh, put it into your database. You can do a persist, uh, persistence upon, upon it. And you can also save it in your uh, logs, uh, the file logs, uh, whichever way is comfortable for you. I prefer for the database logs as uh, you can query it and check for other uh, uh, users. So that's it for now. We'll catch up on later okay uh, thank you for uh, going to my video and uh, meet you next time bye bye